Bruno Mars may have been the big winner at this year's Grammy Awards, but many are now finding themselves jealous of someone else. The golden ticket. I David Kilmick of Center Reach, Long Island, the CEO and founder of the LGBT Network, found himself seated right near the singer during last weekend's ceremony. And I got rushed into row five, and um, and I sat in row five the entire time. I had Cindy Lauper behind me, Bruno Mars to the left of me. Grammy TV cameras didn't capture the Long Island man on screen, but he says he was in the heart of it all as singers walked up to receive Grammy after Grammy. I just stood back to take it all in uh, because it was something that I never thought I would experience again. It's how he got to the VIP row that's even more impressive, turning his backseat row ticket to a behind-the-scenes look, starting with the red carpet. And when it was time to come in for the show to start, uh, I followed Sting, Shaggy, and Gaga's entourage um, into the elevator. Um, I didn't know what was going to happen. To blend in, he says he acted natural, snapping only a few photos and selfies with celebrities along the way, but couldn't resist when he heard a familiar voice warming up. I look up, and Lady Gaga was right in front of me, and that was my uh, oh my God moment. Kilmick took this photo of Gaga right before she went out on stage to perform. <laughs> bringing down the house with her vocals and nearly distracting Kilmick from his mission to get one of these performers to come to Long Island. We have a population of three and a half million people and Long Island Pride should have one of these big artists that were at the Grammys. Last year, the CEO had Rachel Platten perform at their annual Pride weekend, but this coming June, he wants another big star. I pitched it to uh, Cindy Lauper uh, and she was quick. I thanked her for her work on behalf of LGBT youth. Risking it all for a shot to get to these singers' ears, a daredevil approach that gave this man a story of a lifetime. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. We did reach out to Madison Square Garden to see how this man was able to do this, and they are still reviewing their security. No word yet if any of these singers plan to perform for his organization this coming summer.